Hi, uh, my name's Pete. Today we're going to be wiring up a Hive thermostat to a Worcester boiler. So if you picked up a Hive and you don't want to pay someone 70, 80 quid to wire it up, then you're probably in the right place. Watch this video, I'll show you what to do. I'll show you the tools you need and hopefully we'll get it all done without you blowing anything up. Okay, so rule number one, if you're totally useless with this sort of stuff and you can't wire a plug, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Pull someone out, it'll sort it out for you. Um, it's not actually legal to do work on your own boiler. There'll be someone in the comment section below who says it is. They're wrong. Don't make me put the reg up again. It's on several other of my videos. But you can do this um, on your own boiler in your own home with no issues. You're not breaking the law. Right, so what you're going to need, you're going to need some screwdrivers. You're going to need your hive, obviously. You're going to need a bit of cable. Uh, we only need like three cores going from the boiler to the uh, to the stat. It's three cores and a little loop, but we'll come to that later. We might need a torch have one handy. Uh, I'm going to do my electrical safety checks. Most people just turn it off with a fuse spur, whip the fuse out and hope for the best. Um, but force of habit means I use a multimeter and blah, blah. We're going to need some wire strippers because we're not animals and we don't use our, our teeth and a Stanley knife. And I'm also going to use some ferrules. Again, you probably won't use these. Um, these just, this is my electric box. I've got it out, why not use them? Um, flute pen, but again, I dare say a lot of people don't use it. Um, that's it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wire up uh, the stat now. We're going to do our electrical safety checks and so we're going to just talk you through it. Ready? Go. Just going to take the cover off to, the, uh, to where the cables are all stored and the PCB and stuff. So we're just going to cut off the length of cable, strip the wires down. You want to take about five mil off the end of each of these and then we'll get our ferrules on. So, if you took my advice early on, you jumped directly to this bit. Well done, welcome back. Um, right, the earth, we don't actually need to wear this hive. Um, it's got an earthing point should you want to, but it's double insulated. The manufacturers say you don't need to. So, the diagram on the left where all the cables go into uh, the brown, red, blue on this diagram, um, you can see clearly how they all link up with the hive backplate. You might find there's a thing there that looks like a little staple on the left hand side. That's actually a loop on new boilers. There'll be a loop there between LR and LS. Take that out, get rid of it. And then you can see that the uh, LR just goes to number three. The LS goes to your live, your live supply goes to live. And then we've got that little bridge. So a bit like that staple we've got there linking two different parts, um, parts of the wiring. We can do that between L and one on your back plate. So you can either reuse that or just cut yourself to the cable. And then you've got the neutral. But I'll show you later on in the pictures um, what I've done. And you should be away. But that's basically your wiring diagram for a Worcester Green Star. <laughs> so this plug actually just pulls out. And you can get your cables in. Uh, we got life supply. It's going to be my brown. Obviously, I'm just going to pop my neutral next to it in the NS. So I'm just going to cut off an appropriate length of cable, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're just going to strip it down uh, on this, and we need uh, three cores. So that's all I need. But I'm going to strip these down, bang some ferrules on. Remember the cores you used before. So we use the brown for our live, a neutral, and our black. So that's all we need. So I can get rid of them. So it doesn't need to be earth because it's double insulated. If you read the MIs on it. We should all be good. So I'll get the ferrules on this. Get your receiver out. Undo that. Two screws at the bottom. The captive screws, you don't need to take them all the way out. You actually feel them tighten up as you come to the end. Uh, and as I showed in that picture before, we're just going to wire it up because that is in that picture. The only little tip I've got is this little bottom plate here will actually pull out, which will make your wiring easier. If you're bringing a cable up, you can just get rid of that. So I'll do the wiring now and I'll put a little uh, picky up with that. So that's your receiver wired up. So all you've got is a little bridge between the hive and your common neutral and your switch. That's it. Before we turn anything on, we're just gonna stick our cover back on. I'm not gonna put the screws in just yet, but covers back on and then we'll fire up our hive and see what happens. 
So I'm going to put three of the batteries in the hive. I'm going to leave one out just for now. I'm just going to leave him sat there like that. That's your back plate. It literally just flips off, but you just pretend that's a wall, attach it to the wall, however you want to do it. A couple of screws, chewing gum, don't use, no, just screws, don't use chewing gum onto your wall. I mean, your hive will just sit on that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn our hive on and this is how you pair up the hive. So if I turn the boiler on now, this should start flashing. Oh, if I, sorry, if I turn the boiler on now, and not the dishwasher, that'll start flashing like that. And that means that's looking for something to connect to. But this is a standalone version of the hive. So I'm just gonna keep my finger on that button there until he starts flashing like a, a purpley color. Any second now. Okay, there we go. So he started flashing. That's like a standalone version of uh, the hive without the hub. Is what I'm trying to say. So we put our battery in the hive and I'm gonna hold them two buttons there just for 10 seconds. It'll come up with a factory reset. So that's just gonna do a quick reset now. And then in theory, once he's done his reset, he's just gonna start searching. Okay, so he's saying, welcome. This is an old unit. I'm aware it's got a crack on it. So I'm gonna click English and it's searching now. I'm just gonna leave that for a few seconds while he searches, literally for the thing directly below it. And he's gonna start searching, and in a second he's just gonna say pairing. Ready, because it'll happen. There he goes, pairing now. Did you stop? Cool, <laughs> she didn't stop recording, yay. So that's pairing now. So let's take a tour. No, let's not, because I've done it too many times. And that, my little friends, is how you do a hive so just to prove it to prove it works what we're going to do obviously i've just turned the bar on so he's going through his little purge i'm just going to turn that up so that's your actual temperature i'm going to turn it above there so let's have it nice and toasty at 32 degrees as soon as i press that green light comes on which is then telling the boilers kick in we can hear the boilers kicked in now off he goes he's all happy so we know that works and he, he won't turn off straight away but if i then turn that off within the next 20, 30 seconds or so. Boom, so I've just turned that then to 11.5 degrees. That started flashing saying I've received the signal. He's gonna knock off in a sec, or he'll knock off. Everyone's a winner, you've saved 70 quid. Well done, hit the subscribe button and uh, I hope you found this video useful. Take care. So that's how you wire up a hive, that's how you pair a hive. So if you're a gas guy, girl, or anyone in between, You've, you've fitted your bar, it's the end of the day. I can save you a bit of time right now. What you can do below in the description is a link to a video on how to use Hive. So what you can do is you can forward your customer a link to that video and they'll get to hear my monotone voice for about 10 minutes, talking them through exactly how Hive works. It'll save you a bit of time to sit next to them, COVID, and it'll save you a bit of time and it'll also give the customer something to refer to. Right, glad we got that done. And uh, if you're new to the game, good luck and see you later. Cheers.